Hi, this is Jeff at Slavens Racing. And this video is about how to CC a head. And CCing is from the words cubic centimeter, and that's just a unit of volume, and that's what we're doing with this test today is measuring the volume of the combustion chamber on this two stroke head. This is a KTM 250SX head, so I want to measure, you know, uh, the volume in here. And I want to do this uh, to establish a baseline so I know what the stock uh, volume is. And then if I make modifications, um, I'll uh, machine the head and change the compression ratio and change the volume. I want to know what that volume is. I don't want to just guess, just machine blindly. Uh, I want to know. So and then I can calculate percentage ratios and and compression ratios and whatever. There's a lot of inf a lot of things you can do with the information you gain here. So the tools that you need to do this are one of the main things. Where you need a burette. This is filled with uh, lamp oil. And this is what I'm going to use to measure the volume. And these you can also use um, syringes. You can find a one that's calibrated correctly. I know the automotive guys use them some, but they've got big volumes to deal with. This is a lot smaller volume. I don't know how well it would work, but these burettes are very expensive. They're about $150 a piece, so it's not something that the home tuner would want to buy probably. This is a smaller one for smaller size heads, or for doing the final filling on on this head you can I can use it as well I can stop at a, at a predetermined mark and then fill it the rest of the way with that smaller one and get a more accurate reading so the other thing you need is, is some type of liquid and I do not recommend you use water it's too heavy it's too uh, it doesn't uh, lay in there correctly and I wouldn't use gasoline you could use solvent or you can use this this is just lamp oil you can buy this at hardware stores and they make it in a lot of different colors, and the colors make it easier to see. Like if the red and the blue are real deep color in it. I should have bought some of that for this test, but I didn't. And then you need a plate to put over the top. And this is just a, a, lex, or a, a plexiglass piece that we machined on the lathe and drilled a couple holes in it. And this side has got a countersink in it to, so I can drop the fluid in there easily. And then this is just a bleed hole over here. And on that, I've got a little countersink on both sides to let the air come out of that. Now, the other thing is you can put your, your spark, you've got to have a spark plug in the head. And you can use your spark plug. I use one that has uh, one that I've cut the electrode off of and filled it with putty just because I want to use the same plug every single time on every head. Uh, otherwise, I could pick up a different heat range of plug or a different style of plug and get a different reading and this way I know uh, I'm going to get con consistent numbers. So you got to seal this in order to, to get the plastic plate to seal and I just use a thin grease, any type of thin grease. Don't email and ask me about grease or call me, just make a decision and pick some. Anything super thin the better. And I just put a very thin coating on here because you don't want it squishing out into the combustion chamber. And then this head is set in this little vise here at just a slight angle so that I uh, so that the air will go uphill and come out the bleed hole. And I just carefully set this on here. This one, this particular plate is perfect for 250 and 300 KTMs, which are ones that I commonly mess with. And then you just push it down under that grease and turn it just a slight bit and get it to really stick on there. From there, it's time to start putting the fluid in. And when you, if you use a burette, overfill them first. I used to take it almost all the way to the top and then run it down to where it's at the zero mark. And that way it will fill up the spigot part down here. Just whatever, however you do it, just do the same thing every single time. 
That's the most important part. So now I've got the fluid going in. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. And you just have to be real careful here because you don't want to spill any because that will totally ruin your test and then you'll have to start over. It's starting to get full now, and there's a great big air bubble in there that's working its way over towards the bleed hole. Of course, the bubble's going to get smaller. You also want to try not to get any little bubbles in there, which I've done a couple right at the moment. In the video, you can see this process here. So, the air bubble is getting really small now. And we've got some little ones in there. I would normally sit here and let those come out, but for videoing purposes, that's kind of the end of the test. That's really all there is to it. All for now.